he never left the UEP, even though he has not been um, prime minister since 1998. He never left the UEP, always participated whenever we could. I remember we were um, in a bit of a semi-crisis in 2006, just after the UDP got elected to the city council. And he readily was willing to give advice, readily willing to be a part of any solution to mediate. He was always a part of the party, always participating, even when he was sick. Of course, when he got really sick, then he, he had to curtail those duties because his health became his first priority. And um, we had to make sure that we, we protected him as, as much as we could. But Sir Emmanuel, as I said before, a straight shooter and a man of integrity, when he had an issue with you, he would tell you. When he had an issue with the party, he would say so. And we remember him for always being honest and honest in what he wanted to express and what he wanted to say. And it doesn't matter who it was, it doesn't matter who was present, his points were made the way he saw them to be made, and he was not intimidated by anybody, not swayed by anybody once he made up his mind. And that's the legacy of Manuel Esquivel, and there will never be, there will never be another Manuel Esquivel. And uh, I'm, I'm proud to say that I've known him, I'm proud to say I've interacted with him. And the last few years were especially tough for all of us because we, we could see that he was uh, deteriorating at a very fast pace and our, our hearts sunk for him because we, we know him to be a stallion, we know him to be a stud and to see him sick and in that case it really, really hurt us and even though we knew that this day would come, um, it is still a very sad day when it does come. So that, that's, that's how we're feeling at this point.